We are 48 hours away from the Valentine's yeah. Day. Mm. It's here again. For some, the best day of the year. For no, others, where, the worst. Where the men of this world feel the absolute pressure of uh, of their lover. It's because you not see this with your life. That's why. I want to take the pressure off right now. Is I think we need to just put a rule here for Valentine. Because I, this, I was saying to my wife last night, so babe, what are we doing for Valentine's? She says, but we never do anything for Valentine's. Mm. I was like, that's right, we never do. Mm. And that is because I believe Valentine's Day is for single lovers because if you are married, hey, your Valentine's theories. Day, your Valentine's Day if you're married is your wedding anniversary. If you're not married, you go and enjoy Valentine's Day. Okay. So single or dating. You can be in a relationship. Single or dating, in a relationship. Okay, cool. Valentine's Day is for you. Us married people, we've got other things to do. Okay. And we will celebrate our anniversary. As if it was, you know, the same as the roses, it's the stuff, you know. Is this not a way for you to get off the hook? True, true. No, no, hey? it's not. But now, you see, so <laughs> Ramiz is in a new yes. love. Yes. So Valentine's Day, you got to celebrate that. It's happening, that. man. It's happening. <laughs> um, Brad's in a tricky space because he hasn't even been married for a year. He's but yeah. he's, he's, in fact, his relationship is still in the honeymoon phase. <laughs> yeah. Because it was a whirlwind romance that mm. led to marriage. So what do you do for Valentine's Day? <laughs> you just made me question myself. Uh, I think, uh, I think I'm still, I'm still at the point where I have to, uh, to make an effort. Mm. I think maybe next year we can take it under review and I can tell you how I'm feeling then. But right now, uh, I, I got to play the game. Jeremy says, thank you so much, Darren. I'm just going to tell my really? wife this now and it's all settled. Uh, uh. <laughs> it's all settled. There's another message here. Um, he says, Darren, so, so what do we do? Uh, my girlfriend of 17 years, oh. what do we do? Well, man, listen. <laughs> Can I be honest with you? No. Let her go because <laughs> 17 yeah. years, all you are doing is holding another man's yeah. wife hostage. Could That's what you're doing. Now you make the assumption that both Yo. these people actually want to get married. Maybe they are just in a lifelong committed no. relationship. Mm -mm. Not everyone wants to get married, Darren. S stop wasting that woman's time. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <sighs> Boy. Just put a ring on it, man. Uh, not everyone wants to get married. Why I, is that so shocking? You know what? I actually was was talking to this guy this weekend, um, and uh, he said he's getting he's getting married this weekend. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, one of these lovely wine farms here. Mm -hmm. He's getting married this weekend, and he said this is after twenty six years what? of being in the relationship. Mm -hmm. So he said, reason why is because they policy. No, 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 <laughs> no. The mother of his partner mm. didn't agree. No. But now she died. So now they <laughs> get married. Yo, imagine a whole other person dictating <laughs> your relationship. Yo. <laughs> yeah. So no the mother shame. that didn't agree. <laughs> passed away this year so now they're actually doing a married they're winking at each mm. other at the funeral i mean come on <laughs> <laughs> ding dong the witch is dead <laughs> whip the coffin out and we're gonna march down the aisle there's different reasons i guess but look i just hope i can take some of the pressure off i mean i hope your theory doesn't catch on darren around married people yeah don't really have to buy into valentine's day well, We're gonna I put some that's, strain that's, on some that's, relationships. You know, that's I, I think risky it's, advice, bro. <laughs> it's very risky. No, but you see, you've got to make a pact with your yeah. That's lover. the T's and C's. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Everyone yeah. must be on the same page. Exactly. Because because your wife Sam was like, hundred percent. I agree with you. We're yeah. gonna play, ya. Let's make it our special day, rather on exactly. your wedding anniversary. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Who the hell's Cupid anyway? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. W what are your thoughts? Are we going to make this a thing? Ooh, a shaky theory that won't apply for everyone. Be cautious taking this advice. That's all I have to say. What do you think? So it was my wedding anniversary um, this weekend, and I took my wife away for one night to get away from the kids, you know? Yeah, now Valentine's Day is coming up. <laughs> mm. No pressure, Wesley. Mm. I totally agree with Serbs. I am currently married second husband mind you 
And I don't want to be married. You shouldn't have done it. <laughs> Just stay single, guys. I'm in 100% agreement with Darren. Leave Valentine's Day to the young, young lovers, young unmarried lovers. And yeah, if your partner's in agreement with it, my dad's been married 43 years, my uncle's been married 50 years, my brother's been married 15 years and I've been married 10 years now. And we all live by the same advice and that's to celebrate your wife every day. Don't wait until Valentine's Day to celebrate your wife. Amen, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You see, the thing is, when you're in a relationship, it's like you've got your driver's license. Let me tell you, we got our advanced driver's license. Yeah. We've got different rules. Oh, okay. You got advanced drivers. You got experience. Mm. Oh, okay, knowledge. Yeah, yeah. I, you know what I'm saying is, why can't you celebrate both times? Okay. Any excuse to love up on your exactly. lover. Exactly. Okay. But and you can do that any day. It mm. doesn't have to be the 14th of February. But, but you must do it extra hard exactly. on the 14th. Exactly. Fairus, good morning. You're gonna throw a spanner in the works here. Throw it. Uh, my opinion, Darren, um, you, you know, we can't, just tell, we can't just leave Valentine's Day to the young single people. Uh-huh. The married people also need to celebrate love. And, you know, it's been 11 years of dropping in, looking for my husband to oh. ask me to be his Valentine. And, oh. and I'm still waiting. Oh. That's beautiful. Oh. Yeah. No, you beautiful. must stop setting yourself up for failure. Oh. Like, don't have the expectation, then you won't be disappointed. Yeah, man. Or oh, just stop hinting. Just tell that man straight to his face. Am I your Valentine or not? But also, this mm. is clearly a situation yeah. where one person is a romantic and the other isn't. Is not. And yeah. so you almost aren't speaking the same language. Mm. So you need to kind mm. of figure out how to get on the same page. Mm. You do it for him this year mm. and yeah. see what happens uh. next year. Because <laughs> it's a leap Show year. Show him, exactly. Fairuz is a leap year, so technically it's yours. Show him how it's done. Leap year rules, so it's, it's ladies' turn. Yeah. Ah, you didn't That's think about rules. that now, Fairuz, did you? <laughs>